Welcome back developers and builders. Today we're breaking down top trending and open source GitHub projects. This week, part one, so you can quickly spot tools worth your time. You'll discover practical projects across AI, cloud, design, and developer tooling that you can actually use right now. Stick around to find ideas you can try locally, in production, or just for learning. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Unsloth MLX, Fine Tune LLMs, locally on Apple Silicon Macs. Let's dive into the world of Unsloth MLX, a clever open source Python project that brings efficient large language model fine tuning to Apple Silicon Macs using Apple's native MLX framework. This tool solves a real headache for developers, the friction of writing training code on a Mac and then rewriting it for powerful cloud GPUs. With Unsloth MLX, you write your fine-tuning script once, and the same API works locally and later on cloud clusters with original Unsloth, thanks to a compatible fast language model and trainers that mirror Unsloth's design. It lets you prototype and experiment with hugging face models directly on machines like M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, leveraging unified memory and and avoiding early cloud costs. The repo shows stable support for instruction fine-tuning, preference learning, and multi-generation training, and you can export models in Hugging Face or GGUF formats for other tools. Behind the scenes it wraps Apple's MLX so Macs can run native LLM training without Triton, and the workflow stays smooth with example scripts and structured dataset configs. Built for creators, researchers, and local ML tinkerers who want low-cost, high-speed iteration before scaling, give it a try and see how smoothly your model training flows locally. Project number two, solid type, modern parametric CAD with live collaboration. Let's dive into a tool that feels like collaborative design reinvented. Solid type is an open source web-based parametric CAD application that lets creators design 2D and 3D models together in real time, backed by modern sync tech. It combines a browser UI with a powerful modeling kernel and sync layers so teams can sketch, constrain, and modify parts together without conflicts. Using electric SQL for structured metadata and durable streams to persist CRDT-based model data. Built with TypeScript, OpenCascade.js powers the computational geometry, while TanStackDB brings live queries and client-side caching, so designs update instantly across collaborators. It even integrates AI-assisted modeling to help automate repetitive geometry tasks. Running it locally involves Docker to spin up Postgres, Electric SQL, and durable streams, then launching the app with PNTM and a reverse proxy can improve performance under heavy sync loads. This project matters now because real-time collaboration and local first performance give designers both speed and ownership over their workflows. Built for developers and designers who care about seamless team editing and powerful modeling, explore at once and feel how smooth shared design becomes. Project number three, Create Epoch App -y. Starter template for Epoch apps. Here's something that feels like the future of web apps. Create Epoch app is an open source template generator that helps developers bootstrap new applications using the Epoch framework, assumed from the repo name and structure. It provides a ready-made structure with sensible defaults, giving you the basics you need to start building with Epoch with no guesswork. Inside you'll find essential config files, scripts to install dependencies, and examples of how to configure routing, state, and tooling so a new project is up and running fast. This template simplifies the setup steps that usually slow developers down, so you can focus on features rather than boilerplate. Built with modern web conventions like ES modules and standardized project layout, it's ideal for creators and engineers who want to rapidly prototype or launch production-ready apps without wrestling with tooling setup. Give it a try and watch your development workflow shift instantly toward productivity. Project number four, is the Companion, dual screen gaming companion app. Imagine transforming your secondary screen into a vibrant part of your gaming experience. ESDA Companion is an open-source companion app designed to complement the ESDA ecosystem by showing dynamic game artwork and offering a launcher right on your extra display. It pulls game visuals and brings interactive elements to life while giving quick access to Android titles in one place, turning otherwise idle screen space into an immersive hub. The code base includes UI logic for artwork display and app launching, making secondary displays feel lively and useful for gamers. Built for retro gaming fans and Android users alike, this project makes your setup feel more integrated and stylish. Try it today and see how your gaming workspace feels more alive. Project number five, 
ArenaNet 4 Marbar. Air quality at a glance. Here's something simple that feels immediately useful. ArenaNet 4 Marbar is an open source macOS app that sits in your menu bar and keeps an eye on your ArenaNet 4 air quality sensor, giving you quick status updates and notifications. Written in Swift and targeting macOS, it talks to your ArenaNet 4 device to fetch readings like CO2, temperature, and humidity, and puts them where you can see them every moment. It matters for anyone who cares about indoor air quality because it turns raw sensor data into glanceable cues without diving into full-screen dashboards. The app also pushes notifications when conditions change, helping you react quickly to poor air conditions. Built for professionals and everyday users alike who want health data at their fingertips, give it a try and watch how easy it is to keep your environment in view. Project number 6. LLM Router – Smart Library to Route LLM Queries Here's something practical for today's AI stack. LLM Router is an open-source Python library that helps developers build smarter LLM systems by automatically choosing the right model for each query. Instead of always sending every request to the biggest or most expensive model, LLM Router lets you train and run many routing strategies from simple nearest neighbor and matrix factorization to graph-based and multi-round decision models, so your app can balance performance, cost, and speed in real time. It includes a unified CLI, support for training and inference workflows, a data pipeline that turns benchmark datasets into routing training data, and a flexible plugin approach for custom tasks and routers. It supports both local model endpoints and cloud APIs, and you can also run an interactive chat UI for real-time experiments. This project matters now, because the diversity of available LLMs means choosing one model for all queries is wasteful or limiting, and LLM Router gives creators control over how and when each model is used. Built for developers and researchers building cost-sensitive AI applications, give it a try and see how it sharpens your multi-model workflows. Project number 7. TAWS. Terminal AWS Resource Manager. Let's dive into a tool that turns cloud management into a keyboard-driven experience. TAWS is an open-source Rust-based terminal UI for browsing and managing AWS resources without leaving your shell. It provides a fast, keyboard-first interface to view EC2 instances, S3 buckets, IAM settings, and more right from your terminal. With features like multi-profile and multi-region support, fuzzy search filtering, and quick actions for starting or stopping services. Users love it because it brings the depth of AWS's ecosystem into a lightweight interface that's ideal for remote sessions, SSH workflows, and power users who prefer a command-centric approach to cloud operations. This project matters because it saves developers and DevOps engineers time and context switching compared with the traditional AWS console, letting them navigate and act on infrastructure in the wild with fewer keystrokes and no browser overhead. Built for cloud professionals and engineers who value speed and control, try it today and watch how agile your AWS management becomes. Project number 8. Rust Bape. Byte pair encoding training in Rust. Imagine training tokenizers at native speed. Rust Bape is a Rust library that fills a key gap in open source tooling by implementing training for byte pair encoding BPE tokenizers used in many language models. Where most projects provide inference or loading code, Rust Bape P gives you the actual training logic so you can generate your own vocabulary from text corpora in a fast, memory efficient way. Written in Rust for performance and safety, it's ideal for researchers and engineers who need to build custom tokenizers for niche languages or domain-specific datasets without depending on heavy Python tooling. This matters for anyone working on foundational pieces of modern NLP pipelines, and because it's a simple dependency, you can integrate in CLI tools or services without sacrificing speed. Built for developers and data scientists looking for control and performance, give it a try and see how quickly it handles large corp- Project number 9. It's Cover, Animated React Icon Library. Here's something that brings UI to life. It's Cover is an open source library of motion first React icons, built with modern tools like React and Motion slash React, designed so each icon animates with purpose, not just decoration. This collection covers essential UI symbols, tech topics, and status indicators, all built as editable components that plug straight into Next.js or Tailwind based projects. The icons are crafted so motion feels intentional and smooth, helping interfaces feel more alive without being distracting. It matters for designers and front-end developers who want expressive, lightweight visuals that enhance user experience without adding bloat. Built for teams and creators who care about detail and dynamic interfaces, explore it once and feel how much more engaging your UI becomes. Project number 10. Bridal. TUI slash CLI Config Manager for Agents. 
Let's dive into a tool that smooths command line automation. Bridle is an open source TUI slash CLI configuration manager tailored for agentic AI setups like AMP, Claude Code, Opacode, or Goose. It gives developers a way to manage settings, workflows, and tool integrations in a terminal-friendly interface that avoids the hassle of manual config editing. Built with a focus on simplicity and developer experience, Bridle lets you define and switch profiles, set environment options, and tune agent parameters without leaving your terminal environment. It matters for anyone building or experimenting with agent-based automation who wants a consistent, low-friction config workflow. Built for engineers and AI tinkerers who value speed and clarity, give it a try and feel how quickly it becomes part of your command line flow. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you found this useful, like the video, subscribe, and tell us in the comments which repo impressed you most. Don't forget to star the projects and try the demos linked in the description. Let us know what you want to see in part 2.